The Renaissance is popularly known for its vast array of artworks, more specifically, its paintings. From holy angels and wicked demons to passages from the Bible, it's no wonder these alluring artworks have caught our gaze. But some paintings are also well known, not just for their beauty, but because concealed deep within the paint lie unsolved mysteries and hidden secrets. While many theories are yet to be proven, here are five paintings with hidden secrets that'll make you think twice before looking at it. Number five, The Creation of Adam by Michelangelo. Michelangelo di Lodovico Buonarroti Simoni, better known as Michelangelo, is known for being an amazing artist, architect, and sculptor. However, not many people know that he was also an expert anatomist who used to dissect corpses with the intention of producing anatomical sketches. Now you might be wondering, what does anatomy and art have to do with this painting? Well, what if I told you Michelangelo left anatomical illustrations behind many of his works? For example, look closely at this piece, The Creation of Adam, located in the Sistine Chapel. Concealed within the shape of God's robe is a representation of the human brain, which many believe was Michelangelo's attempt at a secret attack on the church's contempt for science. Michelangelo destroyed many of his anatomical sketches, but cleverly concealed this little secret from the eyes of Pope Julius II and countless worshippers, historians, and art lovers for centuries. Number 4 the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The Last Supper is a late 15th century mural painting by Italian painter Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo was also a draftsman, sculptor, architect, and engineer. The Last Supper has always fascinated people from around the world. However, in 2007, an Italian musician claimed to have found musical notes in the painting. The result is a tuneful 40-second musical composition. The notes are hidden in the bread rolls and hands of the apostles in the painting, and it is read from right to left, following da Vinci's own writing style. While the theory is yet to be confirmed, many believe that it is plausible, especially since da Vinci was also an excellent musician. Here, have a listen. Number 3. The Madonna with Saint Giovanni by Domenico Ghirlandaio. Italian Renaissance painter Domenico Ghirlandaio painted the Madonna with Saint Giovanni in the 15th century, and yet this painting has kept the people baffled until this day. But why though? The painting, which portrays the Madonna with Jesus, appears to have nothing out of the ordinary. But wait. What's that guy looking at? Apparently, the reason why so many people are baffled by this painting is because it features an unidentifiable object hovering in the sky. Greatly detailed, the UFO can be seen near Mary's left shoulder. Because of this detail, the painting has intrigued UFO and alien enthusiasts for ages. And while there is no agreement regarding the object's nature, its presence makes the painting a truly fascinating one. Number two, Michelangelo's frescoes on the vault of the Sistine Chapel. Remember Michelangelo? Yeah, the guy we talked about who hid the human brain in God's robe. Yeah, that wasn't the only secret he hid in the Sistine Chapel. In this fresco, Michelangelo depicted a series of sibyls and Old Testament prophets, all of them seated in the throne and accompanied by cherub-like creatures. One of the two cherubs looking over the beefy shoulder of the Cumaean sibyl makes an obscene hand gesture, sticking his thumb between his index and middle finger. This gesture dates back to ancient romance, what the Italians today call mano in fico, or fig hand, and it's basically the equivalent of giving someone the finger. 
Fortunately for Michelangelo, it would have been impossible for people on the floor of the chapel to see the fingers, but Michelangelo may have found it amusing that he had managed to sneak this rude gesture into his grand masterpiece. Number 1. The Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli For Sandro Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, you're going to need an immense knowledge regarding botany to fully appreciate all the details in his work, which have been deemed the first large-scale canvas created in Renaissance Florence. Experts say the painting contains at least 500 individual plants that can be classified as over 200 species, and some believe all of these species thrived around Florence during the spring season of the 15th century. What do you think of my presentation? If you enjoyed it or learned something new today, be sure to add extra points under Renaissance. Again, add a few more points. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you all have a wonderful day.